Hi, I'm Joe with Gramophone, and we're lucky enough to be sitting here with our good friend John Turchinets from KEF. John? Let's do this again. <laughs> Great to see you, my man. How you feeling? Oh, we're feeling good. Good. Feeling good, yeah. Going to have well, some fun tonight. We are. Thank you so much for coming up to our spring showcase. This is April 2024, and we're having our spring showcase this evening. One of the featured vendors is Kef. And John, as you know, with subwoofers, a big subwoofer, it's relatively easy to get a lot of output, and it may or may not be articulate. Right. But a lot of people will never buy a big subwoofer. So the smaller we go with a subwoofer, the more of an engineering challenge it is. But you guys did a great job with this product that's right behind us, the KC92. Mm -hmm. And we just finished up filming a video on this over the last week or so. But if somebody wants even more output than this, and they don't want to give up an inch of floor space, you guys have come up with an innovative solution. Yeah, I mean, something that we're really getting behind now is the idea of stacking. Ideally, two subs are better than one, four is better than two, and so forth. But you don't always have the real estate and the floor to do two separate locations. So with the stacking kit, you can now just simply, you're already in the footprint, you go up. In the one stacking kit, you can do two or three, and you can do multiple stacks via hard wire or with our wireless kit as well. The wireless kit's a great benefit too, because if you don't have wires to get to the subwoofer where you want it, just use the wireless exactly. kit from you guys. Exactly, a lot of flexibility. It's KW-1, correct? That is correct, okay. that is correct. And when you talk about the stacking kit, it's literally this simple. It's very simple. Part number one is the pad. Yep. Pad is placed on the bottom subwoofer. Yep. That way it's protecting. Part number two, you were generous enough to get <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. So what you find in here are we can add it a little bit. Yeah, so these these are all your additional screws, washers, as well as the Allen wrench hex bit. So, so you're we don't even to need a tool kit. The the tool you use in the box. Yep. It's in the box. Yep. Yep. The third thing, obviously, is a second KC92, mm -hmm. so we can stack it on top, or yep. as you say, a third. Yep, correct. And the benefit to the consumer, let's make sure we talk about that a little bit, you're going to actually get 6 dB more output, which in turn means that you can turn both subs down a little bit and pick up more headroom. So you're not just getting more bass, it's more low distortion base. And, and by the way, this is very low distortion performance. in the oh, first Oh, absolutely, place. Yeah. yeah. So better performance. The subs aren't working as hard when you have multiple subwoofers on there. As you said, more headroom, but more output. Six dB with two, nine and a half with three. And you didn't give up a single additional inch of floor space. Correct. Bingo. You're just going up. <laughs> Well, why don't we do this then? Let's grab the other subwoofer and yep. we'll put the kit together because I haven't seen it done before, but you tell me it's really easy. Neither have I, so let's okay. do it. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> to stack these two together, we're gonna need these twin metal rods in the back. And looks like we got some prep work yep. we gotta do. Step one, remove the feet. Okay. Let's take those off. These go out of the there way. There you go. Step two. Yep. Take the sub. We put the mat down to protect the bottom piece. Yeah. Get these lined up. So with that mat in between, even when we're pounding base, it's not going to damage the surface of the upper one. And the last one. And 
All right, reel two is done. Okay. So John, now that the rails are done, obviously we're gonna need to plug both subwoofers in. Yep. And do we need to make some connections between the two so that they operate together? Yeah, so several, several ways you can go. Uh, we prefer option number one, which is if you have a single coax feed coming to the sublocation, a simple Y splitter, RCA Y splitter, one to one on each sub. If you have just the one, you can also come in and then go out daisy chaining to the second. So either, either method will work. Either method will work, correct. That sounds great. All right, let's hook this baby up. All right, so connecting our line level which is feeding the amplifiers. So RCA Y splitter, you go into the input of the top, input of the bottom. <laughs> That's it. And now we, we put in a power plug. Put in the power plug, if you wouldn't mind, if you could pop it in over there. Absolutely. Plug number one. Plug number two. We're done. So John, thank you for showing us how this stacking kit goes together. It's remarkably simple. And My now pleasure. We're going to have substantially more bass without giving up a single inch of floor space. That's right. More boom. Love it. More boom. John, thanks for joining us. We hope. Thanks for having you, me. Oh, thanks. Thanks for uh, thanks for coming down. We appreciate it a ton. Absolutely. We hope that this video has been somewhat instructional for you. It's not so easy to get great bass, but not take up a lot of room on the floor. And this stacking kit, which obviously in our case, John, we're too high, but you can still go one more and go three high. With this stacking kit, you can get a remarkable amount of bass without a whole lot of floor space. So for more information, check out gramophone.com. We've got a KEF page there. And of course, you can shop for your own KC92s at Sky by Gramophone, where you always get a secure checkout, fast and free shipping, straight to your door. We hope that you can come visit us in Timonium, Columbia, or Gaithersburg, Maryland. If you come to Timonium, make sure you check out that awesome Experience Center. And if you need a remodel, Kitchen Design Center up in Hunt Valley are more than happy to help you. Thank you for watching this video. We appreciate your support. We look forward to seeing you next time.